everyone has a question from linear equation and the question is solve each of the following equations and check your answer so first we have to solve and then we have to check if answer is correct or not so first question is x minus 3 is equal to 5 so let me begin with the first question so x minus 3 is equal to 5 so we have to first get the value of x now this is a linear equation given I want the x value so I'm gonna bring all the constants to one side so I'm gonna transpose minus 3 to the other side I'm going to use a transpose method. Transpose method, the signs will change. Here, the sign of 3 is negative. So, when transpose is to other side, it will be a positive. So, x will be equal to 5 plus 3, which is equal to x. So, we got x is equal to 8. Now, we have got the answer. The next thing is they're saying check the answer. So, we're going to verify the answer if it's correct or not. Now, verify means your LHS should be same as RHS. If they both are equal, which means our answer is correct here. So in the question we have x minus 3 right that which is your uh, left hand side LHS so LHS is equal to x minus 3 so in place of x I'm gonna put 8 because we got the x value is equal to 8 so 8 minus 3 is equal to 5 and uh, we know that 5 is equal to RHS in the given question 5 is equal to RHS right here so LHS is equal to RH here which means x is equal to 8 is a correct answer now same thing we're going to do for second question so in the second one we have x plus 9 is equal to 13 so again transpose method we're going to transpose 9 to the other side so the sign is positive and transpose it will be negative so x is equal to 13 minus 9 which will be equal to 4 so x is equal to 4 now we're going to check the answer if it's correct or not so we're going to verify it so uh, x plus 9 we have right so let me take the LHS so LHS is equal to x plus 9 in place of x we're gonna put 4 so 4 plus 9 is equal to 13 and which is equal to RHS so here LHS and RHS are equal now the third question we have x minus 3 by 5 is equal to 7 by 5 again bring the constants to one side I'm going to transpose minus 3 by 5 to other side so x will be equal to 7 by 5 so minus will become plus so plus 3 by 5 now if you see these fractions we have the denominators are same which means we have to just add the numerators so 5 and when you add 7 plus 3 or let me just write down in this step so x will be equal to 7 plus 3 is uh, 10 so 10 by 5 so cancel the number you can cancel 10 and 5 right or you can just leave it like that or you can cancel it here I'm going to leave it like this because we have to check the answer right if you want to cancel you can cancel it uh, you'll get the answer too here I'm not cancelling it because I want to substitute it like this because we have to check uh, so let me verify this so what we have LHS so LHS is equal to x minus 3 by 5 so in place of x I'm going to put 10 by 5 so 10 by 5 minus 3 by 5 and this is the reason I have not cancelled it you can cancel it if you want you'll get the answer too now if I cancel again I have to put 2 again we have to take LCM and all so I want to avoid that step here we have a same denominator so we can directly subtract the numerators so this will be 10 minus 3 minus uh, 10 minus 3 divided by 5 10 minus 3 is 7 so we got here 7 by 5 7 by 5 is nothing but our RHS which is equal to RHS so here LHS and RHS are equal which means our answers are correct here so I hope this question is clear how we have to solve and get the value of x and then you have to substitute back and verify it if they are same or if the LHS and RHS are correct or not now in case you have any other question or doubt you can drop a comment thank you so much for watching